Hi everyone, this is Lady Flow Flow Florence, and today I have Lucida Michel with me. Hey Lucida. Hello again. Hi, welcome back everyone to the Beginners Competitors Corner. Thank today you. we have a really exciting topic for you. And before we start, make sure you give us a like and subscribe to the channel, okay? And share this with someone else because today we're gonna talk about the suit. Yes, the suit for competition. We're yes. gonna talk about how to choose a suit, how the pattern, which color, all these questions that new beginners and I'm still learning about. What makes a difference in a suit? Okay, Lishida. So Lishida is a pro and I'm a beginner. So I'm gonna ask Lishida from Selvai. So Lishida, let's start with colors. When I was like looking to do my first competition, I look at somebody that kind of looked like me and and that had the same complexion of me. And I, you know, and I try to match a color that was similar that could look at me. So what would be your approach in terms of finding the colors of the suit and the patterns? How do, how do we know? Like, where do we start? Well, first of all, I just need to make a correction here, but it's just a joke. I'm not a pro of suits. I'm just a pro athlete. <laughs> <laughs> it's but true because not everybody knows that, right? <laughs> but I do have a lot of uh, tips and information to share based on my experience when it comes to suits. Um, first of all, uh, for the suit, main important information to retain and observe and make sure to key in at every show First of all, you have to respect the suit structure. The respect the yes. suit structure? What I mean by that is that depending on your category, there are criteria that they're looking in a suit. For example, figure where your bottom goes as high as possible so they can see that line here when you... Yeah. So your suit bottom has to go high. If it's too low, it doesn't look good. You, you lose that V shape, basically. It creates so, that illusion, right? Yeah, exactly. So when it comes to conditioning, you want the suit to be sitting properly at the right place on your body, depending on which muscle group has to be highlighted during the show. That's one thing. The other thing is when you do a show try to choose a color that actually suits you and that's not going to bring too much attention on it compared to your body what oh. i mean by that, it's very fun to have funky colors and have bright Ooh. colors we feel like princesses on those show days and i do understand that but there is always a danger on this color selection you do that if it brings too much attention on the suit, for example, there's too much glitter, there's too much color, all the attention is going to be remaining on the suit and you're not going to get the attention you deserve on your conditioning. Mm. So now, colors, it's not just for show, like when it comes to scientific studies, scientific okay studies that has been made regarding what brings or what keeps an eye attention quickly and steady blue and blue. red take notes guys blue and red uh-huh now you can choose the type of blue you can choose the type of red but you have to be careful with the stones and everything basically if i summarize everything it's like try to go with colors that are more popular uh, try to go with uh, the bikini or the suit that are respecting the criteria for posing. Anyways, they do the check-in. Uh, when you check in, the right. they always check if the bikini is proper, especially for women when it comes for the bottom, because we know that we show glutes on stage. So they don't want to see thongs necessarily, although we're not super dressed when we're on stage. But, but, but. With that said, the bottom is different when we're amateur versus professional, right? Yeah, exactly. So the cut of the bottom is important. So the suggestion I would make here is that whoever makes your suit, make sure that the person, the designer, is aware of the federation rules and is aware of the federation criteria when it comes to the suit 
uh, structure. So they're going to be able to know, well, this federation, this is how the bottom should be. This is where the panty should stop. This is how I should be connecting uh, the top or the bottom when it comes to figure competitors or to uh, fan physique competitors. Usually, if you have a good designer, they know. I know online we have this popular uh, site of, uh, I think it's her name is TM Marie. She's very known for figure suits in the industry. She okay. rents and you can also purchase online. Um, I've been having the same designer for over uh, almost 10 years now. It's um, Divine Suits. And uh, Caroline is amazing. I would never change designer. Uh, quality of the suits. And she's very um, curious too. Whenever she's not sure, she always makes sure, make sure to get the information right in order to satisfy her client when it comes to designing the suit for stage. And also she has this touch when it comes to personalize the bikini. So even if I was approached by different uh, companies for suits or had requests from different companies, I always decline them because I'm highly satisfied with them. Um, Carol. And also, I know that the, the suit I wore for um, the CPA Pro Qualifier, I did a rental of that suit that she actually made specially for me for that day and left it to her. And now it's being rented a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we can make some money, invest in our suit and make some money on our suit. Uh, Is that yeah. what I'm hearing? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm listening. I'm hearing stuff. Okay. Great. I, I, I personally like. I totally get it. Like once you find a good um, suit custom wear person, um, I have one also. Uh, I'll, I'll give a little shout out. Our stage wear uh, with Allison, and um, it's the one that I won my my show with, and uh, she's she's really great. So I'm just gonna do a little plug in. But I, I didn't know about that. So it's okay to invest and then you can rent. And, and let's talk about that because we're assuming that everybody is going to get it customized. Um, however, um, I've seen people say, hey, you can rent, like you said, or, or, or you can, um, you know, um, so there's some group people who are selling reuse suits. Mm -hmm. And, but then you mentioned, be careful of the Federation categories because they're different cuts. So exactly. what do you suggest? Like as a new beginner, like there's a lot of cost and fee associated, right? So let's say, you know, I'm not a pro. <laughs> I just want to do my show. I want to have fun, but I still want to look good. And I, and I want to do good. So should I do custom? What are the price range? Should I do rental? How much does it cost about? Or should I just get like a used one? And if I do, what are the consequences or what should I be aware of? Well, depending on the show you're doing right now, amateur or pro, it doesn't matter. When we come to, uh, let's say for your first suit, okay. it also depend of the designer you choose. But I would say that the price range for a first suit that would look potentially good for stage, no matter what, can easily go from 250 as custom, I mean purchased, can go from 250 to 500 and even more depending on the level of, um, because the price is always about how charged the suit is in terms of rhinestones and other stuff and like the, the, the design and everything. So you pay for the work done on the bikini. So when I say the main price of 250, imagine that it's a blank bikini with nothing on it which is probably the price you'd pay for a posing practice bikini, because that is also important to have when you continue um, doing shows, you wanna have a practice bikini. If it's just one show once in a lifetime, you don't really care about that, right? But if right. you're someone who's looking to make it um, a journey and it's going to be, uh, you're gonna be competing for a while, you wanna have a suit to practice that you can use all time, but that suit has to respect the guidelines for stage, yeah. of course. And then eventually you're able to make your own suit design. You can also rent when it comes to show day. The only thing with rentals, it's only for me, it's a personal opinion. I like to have my own suit. When it comes to rental, I would say it could be an alternative if ever there's a problem 
last minute with your suit, you can look for a rental. Or okay. if you rent, you have to make sure, just understand this, that when you do a custom suit, it's custom based on your measurements. Even though some standard measurements can travel from one individual to another with a little alliteration, it doesn't mean that the same suit will fit everybody the same way when you rent. So you have to be aware of that because if I take the example of having my own designer doing my suits, we do check-ins for suits. So as I do check-ins for my physique, I do check-ins for my suits too because I, lost, I lose weight, uh, my body composition changes too. So some modification are going to be required throughout the prep. So it allows me to follow with my designer the process. And of course, when she makes the first, uh, the first um, structure of the suit, it's as tight as possible because she knows that by the end of the prep, I'm gonna be super lean and we don't have, we don't want her to have a bikini that's like super loose and hanging. So it's going to be tight at the beginning for sure. But as we're leaning, it's just going to be adjusted as I do my check-ins with her. That's the problem. Sometimes you could have with rental because rentals, it's possible to do it online. So I think yeah. this is where the margin is a bit more risky. It's because you don't have that possibility to move and go see or meet the person to try the suit prior to receive it. So just think about it. Try to think about which comfort zone suits you better. What are you willing to do? And if you do an online suit rental, make sure to be way in advance because if ever something goes wrong and you have to alter your suit or something, you don't want to feel stressed about doing the modification, sending back the suit, waiting for the suit to come back. And that also is going to cost you money because if you want to save time, you're going to go with the express mailing and I can pass on the, the, the expenses that comes with it. So just and I think that applies like the rental, the same too, like, buying a used suit right yeah rental i do that i would do go for rental in a sense where it's a rental from a design company that i have access to and i can actually meet the person and try the suit and if ever there's anything it's easier for me to move and meet that person more than being online but like i said each one it's comfort zone if you're looking for price range well, just make sure that the decision you take is aligned with that. That's it. And, and you know what? I had another question in my mind because um, we talk about like, you know, having your first suit. Let's say for me, like I did my first suit. I'm happy. I love it. I want to use it again. And um, what happens? What happens if now I'm doing my second composition uh, competition and I've noticed that my physique has changed. <laughs> yes. It's not the same anymore. Should I get my suit readjusted again if i'm not if i don't want to order another one well if your designer has the capacity to do it why not okay um but just remember that once it's been to the tightest if it's to be uh because you gain mass it's probably going to be more difficult to alter the suit than if you shrink oh <laughs> so think about that because once the cut is done, it's kind of final. It's always easier to alter a bikini because you got smaller than alter a bikini because you got bigger, especially the bottom when we talk about the panty because there's that cut, right? That's yeah. cut in the back to cover your glutes. It's not going to sit the same way. And when you think about the logistic behind she would have to patch or he would have to patch extra tissue and like stones. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't work that, that well. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know why I said that? You, but... <laughs> I would like crazy. And I'm proud, but then now I was like, oh, it may means that I, I may need to do some readjustment because I don't want that, you know, string <laughs> look going on. So maybe it'll be an opportunity for me to maybe get a new suit again but I, I i haven't thought about that well if ever i mentioned earlier you can always check out uh, divine suits which mm -hmm. is my designer 
I find that she has good prices and um, you can check with her because she also do rentals and rentals are not that bad. So, and I think the rentals, you have the suit for a whole week. The whole week? Yes. Just before the show? Yeah. You, like you, you can, can try it before, right? Her, you can always manage with her. I mean, you could try the suit, but of course you have to pay to reserve that suit because you want to make sure nobody else is going to take it. And you just tell her how long you want to have the suit for, but you have to try it first, right? You have to make sure it works. And these suits, just remember that it's not, they've been made one size. So if it, they fit you, you have to make sure they fit you uh, in the criteria or the guidelines for stage. And you also have to make sure that it's going to be easy for you to do few adjustments backstage if ever, let's say, uh, the, the top of your bra is a bit loose because you gain or you lost weight before stage, you're able to fix it with a safety pin or something like that. But they're mm -hmm. not, not going to do any alteration on the suit she's renting because it's a, the same size and it's just being passed on depending on the customers. So you can try that. Yeah, you're you're definitely me uh, giving me things to to think about. So yeah, it's very maybe my purple suit is still in. <laughs> but you said red and 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 blue. Yeah, but purple for our color texture and okay. complexion is good though. Oh, okay. So that plays into effect. But that was general. I said the scientific. Ah, like the eye catch is mostly blue and red when it comes to stage. But there are other colors. There's green that is beautiful for black skin. But I would say that for black women, it's mostly blue, red. Blue. Yeah, blue, red, and purple. Purple. I've seen a lot of mixture of purple and blue. Yeah. And, and let's talk about the bling. Um, is it really important, the more bling, the way that the pattern of the bling is like, let's say, um, well, it's not say it's actually true. My special area, people call it problem area. I, I would call it my special area, the little lower bottom of my, of my stomach. And you know, uh, you know, you have kids, you have C-section, blah, 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 gain weight, lose weight. <laughs> so how would you suggest a design to, can, I know that we can hide it, you know, I know people put bites, bikini bites. Is that what they call? To to we can do that. We're allowed to put bikini bites and bikini bite all the time with me backstage okay. because you don't want your suit to move. Remember those guidelines. If your suit mm -hmm. panty has to stay as high as this and it's not yeah. sticking because it keeps going down, you use the bite. The this is where you're gonna use it to okay. put on the side inside and really stick it to your skin so it holds and it stays there as you're doing your posing on stage. Okay, so bikini bite, very essential to have. Yeah, um, I was and I would say, that. Don't expect to have someone backstage to give you some, get yourself some. I made that <laughs> mistake. I was like, oh yeah, there's gonna be some. And I was like, yeah, give me some. And then it was too late. You have to go on stage. And I had a little wedgie. <laughs> what can I do? Now I'd like to talk about another topic when it comes to bikini uh, that I think is very important is the top. Yes. Because I have natural breasts and my breast is not huge. <laughs> I don't have the additional. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just like, they're not huge, but I'm very proud of my natural breast and I've been competing with my natural breast since the beginning as of today so that is another element that is very important because when it comes to aesthetic on stage we're looking at the proportions right and okay. we have to be we have to be uh realistic here the size of the breast is kind of part of the structure and the composition of your body in terms of uh, aesthetic, but also in terms of proportions. So depending on an individual, uh, on how that person, the chest line or, or the thickness of your chest or the thickness of your waist, you want mm -hmm. to have a certain balance when it comes to your upper body. 
So someone like me who doesn't have much breast, I have to give an illusion that I have a cleavage or something similar to that when I'm on stage. So you want to make sure that the upper of your suit is done in a way that it brings that push up first. And you want to avoid to have too many things going on in the middle. So these are part of the guidelines you have to look for when it comes to a federation or a competition in particular, because some federation don't like the certain uh, connectors yeah. in the between the, they want something different. They don't like when you have big jewelries in the middle because it cuts off on the roundness of the breast in a way. And also the way you're, your uh, bra from your suit is cut is very important from the side from the middle and everything so it's important that your designer is aware of that because when they're going to make the suit and they're going to customize your suit they have to customize especially when you don't have a uh, upland breast like mine to give that illusion that you have a bigger breast so let me tell you that my <laughs> My, my suits have been pushed up a lot and they've been filled with a lot of uh, gel, gel pads and uh, little fluffs here. Like, I don't know how they call it, but it looks like cotton and you can just Yeah, like, I, I put something from the pillows. I took that yeah, from the pillows. <laughs> but these are like last minute touch-ups, but usually the suit itself has to be made in a way that it's going to be holding up your breast enough, tight enough to bring that cleavage and that roundness in your breast. So you want to make sure that when you're doing that pose from the side, uh, there's yeah. Like, yeah, there's something coming out more frontward because don't forget the waistline. Yeah. Small, smaller waist. So you want to have this balance from the upper down body overall. So that's something to um, pay attention to. And, and uh, I feel like we can do the whole topic about, um, I guess, breasts in competition, um, especially because uh, as we go through prep <laughs> and whatever you're natural or not, like it changes sizes and that volume, <laughs> especially if you're natural. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it, 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 it was quite shocking and difficult. <laughs> And you should not feel you should not feel uh, like you you're worth less because of that because we know that in this industry it's not uh, it's almost a standard to have implants. Right. But I don't believe it's necessarily a necessity for everybody. It all depends of your body structure, obviously, because when you're really deep into it, sometimes you might realize that maybe because of your body conditioning and body physiognomy in general, you might have to get those implants just because they're going to bring out more a balance in your physique. Some people have done that. Like, for example, my former teammate, Jennifer Dory, she got implants recently because it would bring her in light more her body structure on stage. Uh, but other people like uh, Rhea, who's a figure pro from England or Cindy Gillian, yeah. two black women with Perfect. natural skin and they're still being on the Olympian stage. But pay attention to their suits though, how the suits are made, the bras are made. So that is important. So as long as you can play with that and create that illusion, you're good. It doesn't matter if you have small breasts or not. And also keep in mind that body structure or physiognomy can also come into, um, I would say, consideration in that case. Awesome. Hey, the time is up already. So thank you so much, Lucida, for sharing your insight. And I hope you all appreciate it. If so, leave us some comments, give a like, and remember to subscribe. So thank you so much. We appreciate you and see you next time. Thank you, Lucida. Thank you. Thank you so much, Flo.